If you're wondering why you have certain ailments, um, why certain people in your life are in your life, why certain people left your life, um, what, why you've gone through certain situations, then this video is for you because we're going to be talking about how to live holistically and not only about how to live holistically, but why you experience these things and how they connect with each other. One of my favorite scriptures, although I am not religious, I do not go to church, I am not considered a Christian. Um, I read the Bible as the Biblios Helios, the Sun Book, Book of Astrology. I read it in depth in metaphysics, not to go on a little tangent, but I did have to piece that in there because I'm not trying to be associated with a certain um, denomination. I'm very free. Um, free thinker and have to follow my spirit. So the scripture that comes to mind though is a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. And that is pretty much what holistic is. Um, if one aspect in your life falters, then everything else is going to falter. If one thing in your life is beautiful, then um, everything else will follow after. Like it says, and all these other and all these things shall be added unto you. So it's all about balance, and we're gonna deep dive into that. But before I continue, if you have no clue who I am, I'm Abishai L. I'm a spiritual medium, holistic health and life coach, international best-selling author and writer, helping you live well, get rid of stress um, through nutrition, lifestyle, spirituality, and beauty. And that is what holistic is. It's basically it encompasses every single thing. And in order to live holistically, you really need to define things. You need to define it. I'm someone who likes to define things in life, likes to find the deeper meanings. Um, and my wonderful, lovely clients, mwah, who come to me even past or present, they're still amazing. Um, they love to find the deeper meanings of words and why this is happening. And a lot of them come in and they have Virgo placements. Some have Scorpio placements, but some, a lot of them have Virgo placements. So they're really analytical and wanting to know, you know, the deeper meanings um, of certain things. Um, to be better, to cleanse themselves, to give back. You know, they become, they're natural healers too. One of my sweet um, clients actually has a podcast out. I will link it in the description box below. And so you'll be able to go listen to her podcast. But yeah, so I love people like that because I'm like that as well. You know, you like to find the deeper meanings of things and holistic when I would hear about holistic, immediately I thought of, you know, nutrition and I thought of green juices, I thought of salads, I thought of soups, I thought of um, kimchi. Oh my God, I haven't had kimchi in a long time. I'm gonna order that. That's really good. Like put kimchi on some pasta, so good. And I just ordered pasta. Now I'm gonna have to get pasta with the kimchi. That's excellent for your gut, not to be eaten every single day, but you know, it's it's excellent. A healthy, a healthy gut is a happy you, and it's a healthy you. It's a vibrant you. You know, you're repairing um, cells, regeneration, and restoration, and that's what it's all about, because we're made up of trillions of cells. So the more you can give them what they need, the more you're giving yourself what you need. Again, that's holistic. So initially that's what I thought it was. And I was like, nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. Um, but then on my own journey, specifically, I wanna say 2015, 2016, I had revealed um, a very shocking story to um, people I was working with in business, because I was on fire. Anybody who knows me, they know I just never stopped working. Even when I, when I was really sick, I just never stopped working. So I was traveling, talking about essential oils and everything. And we're in this van and I'm talking to my, my coworkers, although it was our own business, but we worked together, you know, as a team. And I revealed something like really dark and heavy. And she was like, I think that's what's wrong with your liver. Like that's what's bothering you. And at the time, like I said, I was so focused on nutrition. I was helping cancer patients at the time. I was helping people with breathing issues. 
I was helping so, so many people at this time and I was not associating um, emotional trauma with my ailments at the time. I may have known a bit about it, but wasn't really associating it with it. I was just like, I'm on fire. I, I just wanna teach everybody. I, I have to continue. I'm trying to support people. I, I wanna buy people groceries. I wanna do like all of these things. I had all these goals, but I was so sick. <laughs> I was so sick at the time, like really, really ill. And so they were like, you should stop working. You need to focus on this. And I was like, no, very rebellious. So I kept going. And I remember someone saying, oh, they'll make you lie down, like lie down in green pastures. That's literally what Creator Spirit and Angels had to do to me to show me that if you're not in tune with spirit, you cannot function physically. Like if you're ignoring me, but you want all these gifts and you want all these blessings and you want all these goals to come to fruition, you need to put me first. So that was a harsh lesson, number one. Then during that time I meditated and then I had to go down the healing process and that's tough. When you've dealt with certain traumas, it's very tough to revisit that, have it replay and then have to wash it all away and, and, and go through all of this murkiness that's lodged in your, at the time it was my liver, it was my everywhere, it was my lower back, mostly my liver because I had a lot of anger um, from the situation that I dealt with. And so it really impacted me on a significant level. And it wasn't until like I actually started to heal that, that my liver got better, it, it, but it's a process. So everything is connected. If something happened to you on an emotional level, let's say you, I'm telling you seriously, and then I started to study all of this stuff. When you're, say your foot just starts to hurt, or say even if you bump your foot, I don't care what you did. I don't care how it happened. I don't care if you bumped your foot. I don't care if your foot just hurts. It's happening because of an emotional tie, swear swear everything can be tied back to your emotions i'm telling you right now every client that has ever come to me my own life it has been tied back to emotions i don't care how it happens nothing happens by accident so if i'm tell so let's say you hit your foot okay in my holistic health coaching practice when a client comes to me I will usually, we'll talk about, you know, okay, well, how it happened? How did it happen? Okay, well, what happened during that day? And it's usually something emotionally tied that caused them to be off kilter that also caused them to hurt their foot. Other people, sometimes they'll hurt their foot. I'm just using the foot for an example. I don't know why. Is someone's foot hurt? Let me know. Um sometimes they will hurt their foot and it will be tied to an organ because you know your foot has meridians you so you know that everything is connected see that's why i said everything's connected. even your teeth like that's why people it's good to do oil pulling because it's connected to to organs so when you pull out the toxins hopefully you spit it out don't swallow i was about to say something else but i'm gonna keep it peachy anyway <laughs> This is not the time to swallow. <laughs> I had to say it. Okay, anyway. So, <laughs> so in, in terms of, of like your, um, so it will flush out your organs. So that's why you should spit, spit it out because it's coming out from different organs. So same with your foot. Um, your foot is connected to certain organs. You know, the bottoms of your feet, you know, even your toes, you can tie it to different organs. And so we'll look at that and I'm like, this is what happened. And they'll say something like, oh, this, this happened to me when I was younger. So sometimes things will happen to alert you that there's something that you need to fix emotionally. You see how all this ties? It's like the twilight zone. Like literally holistic health is something that you could just deep dive into all the time. So, it, it's amazing to me. So it connects, it's interconnecting everything, 
every single thing intergalactic. That's how I, I felt when I said that. It reminded me of Coneheads. <laughs> if you haven't watched Coneheads, you don't know about Coneheads, please go entertain yourself with that. It's amazing. So, <laughs> especially the tear color and when they ate the grinder. I was so mad about the grinder because they didn't bite it, they just swallowed it. And that's bad for your digestive tract, by the way, to just swallow everything whole. You gotta chew it. Bite down. <laughs> Bite down. <laughs> I love that song too. I haven't heard that in a while, by the way. I haven't heard that song in a while. But I love that song. It was it French Montana and it was Kodak Black? I love that song. But anyway, it's just a special song. It was a good time when it came out, so. Good memories, good memories. And when you have good memories, you know, it helps you. It boosts your spirits throughout the day. It helps you focus on positive things than negative, negative-ish, you know? So it's all, it's all good. It's, it's all good. Even if it's not, it's, it's good anyways, because you're meant to be balanced. And that's why I love working with my clients, whether it's in my Eat Stress Way program, my nutrition coaching program, add my client, Rosangela, um, who gave me her testimonial so I can share this. She is amazing. She got off her anxiety meds doing my nutrition coaching program. Tell me everything's not connected. Off in most of her prescription meds. And she feels amazing. She's thriving. She's talking about me to everybody in a good way. Um, and I love people like that. Her transformation is absolutely amazing. Um, she's on my Instagram. She's on my Instagram. Um, she's, she's just amazing. Rosangela, she, she's, she's a, she's a powerhouse. She's a little powerhouse. Definitely, 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 definitely. She has transformed so much and that's what I like. You know, people, they, they get empowered, they take ownership, they take accountability, they're able to progress and move forward, they become honest with themselves. And that's part of healing is being self-aware, knowing what you need to do to get you to the next level. What is holding you back? You know, everything is connected and it's not easy. See, I had to go through stuff and some healing processes took um, a long time you know, a long time because I was not aware of how to heal. So it went through, you know, process of elimination, me doing, basically me being my own um, experiment, so to speak, to see what worked. And so now when I work with clients, they're able to get rid of their anxiety and their depression within like three weeks because of the techniques that I finally got down and utilized in my own life. So it took a long journey and then, so now I'm able to speed it up because I was able to package it to where I'm like, oh, this, 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 and this is what I did to heal this, this, and this. So it doesn't matter if these, you know, some of my clients that have came and they're allowing me to say this um, because I do have their written permission in their testimony of some clients that come to me were involved in domestic abuse, SA, sexual abuse, because I don't know what they flag here, hopefully nothing, various things. Um, same stuff that I went through, you know, and it's, you know, took me a while. Um, but then once I came up with a specific method, it doesn't take me long. So now when certain things happen, no matter what it is, it's not that you're toxic, po toxically positive or, um, you got to get over stuff quickly. It's that it's, it's a it's healthy in that you know how to heal the healthy way, but you also don't want to dwell on that for all eternity and carry the burden of the person who did that to you. So it helps you speed up the process in a healthy way to where you can rebalance yourself and live life. So it's all about balancing yourself on a mental, emotional, physical, spiritual, and financial level. I am not rich. I'm not claiming to be rich. Um, but once I was physically healthy, 
and this is what I help you know my clients and everyone that I'm talking to once I was physically healthy I was able to work once I tapped in spiritually and got messages as to what I'm supposed to be doing with my purpose then I was able to make more funds once you know my emotional health was better then I was able to work better and able to you see how that works so everything has to work together it can't you can't have one without the other <laughs> you can't have one without the other and so um, that's what I love about holistic. So it's essentially connecting everything and it's not, it's not limited to nutrition. It's what you do during the day. That's why I said it's nutrition, it's lifestyle, it's beauty. Everyone likes to be groomed, you know, everyone likes to be, um, well, if you're, if you're watching this video, then you want to be healthy. So I'm talking to you. Everyone wants to be healthy. Everyone wants to exercise. You know, these things, it's holistic. You know, it's it's holistic. So it encompasses everything. It's about your interpersonal relationships. That's why I have the podcast, Avian Filter Podcast. Your interpersonal personal relationships, your interdependent relationships. Hopefully you don't have codependent relationships because that's not healthy. That's really tying your liver to your foot. Can't function like that. Um, and so that's what it's all about mind body spirit soul i i used to get so frustrated when i would see this is when i was establishing my business more so online and so you look at examples and you see people promoting all this broccoli and these carrots and it's like so i have to talk about this all day and so i broke away from it and it caused me to feel like Maybe this is not holistic, but it's what I wanted to talk about. I was like, I can't talk about this all day. Like sometimes I want to talk about the toxins in makeup, which I do. Um, sometimes I want to talk about hair products, which I do, because this is what I do, you know, every single day. I go get my nails done. I get my hair done. I spruce myself up. This is what I instill in my clients. I'm like, what do you want to do? My client, like I said, Angie, she got a pixie cut and she has, you know, a tattoo, half a tattoo sleeve. You know, it's about you expressing yourself as well so we can't just focus on um although you are what you eat there's other aspects and then there's spirituality people try to step separate spirituality from holistic health too so i'm like but you can't do that you know that's holistic health it's not you know what i'm saying so it encompasses all of that everything it's about living life well in a healthy manner, associating with healthy people, being kind to yourself, being loving to yourself, um, having morals, you know, developing your own morals though. How do morals look like to you? It doesn't have to be shush kebabs morals over here. It's what are your morals? You know, developing that, co-creating co with your spirit. You know, what is your spirit telling you to do? actually have a workshop um how and i want to hear from you i want to hear from you what questions do you have about holistic living what more do you want to know about holistic living so i can answer those for you in the comments in the commentary down below um let me know and i will gladly answer that so that's that's how to live holistically it's um you choosing how you want to live your life you what is what does that look like to you um if you could have your dream life what would that look like not listening to other people it's listening to your spirit listening to that inner compass that that inner wisdom that you develop um through life experiences and through consulting with creator spirit angels whatever you believe in um i embrace people here this is not a cult you know i was thinking earlier today i was like if you worship prince wilbur the dog which always reminds me of the 10th kingdom if you worship prince wilbur the dog you know and you get answers from prince wilbur and that has helped you then keep doing it you know i'm not trying to force people to be like me i may know what works for me um it may not work for you though you know what i'm saying some people are christians some people are um not and if that works for you and makes you feel like you're doing something with your life then cool 
that may not be my thing. You know what I'm saying? It's all in what works for you. If you're being a decent person, you're, you have love, joy, peace, goodness, gentleness, meekness, faith, long suffering, temperance, what have you, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice, and you agree with that, live your life the way you want. This is your own journey. No one should be imposing. You know, I always am open-minded to hearing other points of view. You know, it depends how you how you say it is what's most important. Don't be like aggressive and telling people this is what you should do. Um, unless it's a message, because I know the angels, especially Michael, are about it. About it when it comes to that, like seriously. Especially when it comes to eating animals, Michael gets upset with that. So that is from my experience because they, they're here for signs and wonders and their souls. But if someone was to still eat animals, I'm not going to slap it out of your hand. You know, that's your choice. Um, but I don't and I never will. And I will gladly keel over if anyone ever served me animal flesh. I will just leave. <laughs> you know, I just, I wouldn't eat it. Um... I would, I would not eat it. Even if someone gave me a million, mm -mm, I'm not eating it. Cause it's, it, that's why I said that moral compass. What are your morals? You know, so you have to develop your own, um, moral compass, um, and how you want to live your life. Basically. Okay. Something my chair kept um, hitting me. I will be throwing this chair out. Doing feng shui. Uh, 2121. So that's confirmation. Yeah, you got to just get rid of stuff sometimes. It's about cleansing and detoxing. But on a mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual level. Whatever makes you feel better. Um, you know? So that's, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Um, and healing and I remember too people would always separate you know music from holistic I remember when I went for my certification to be a raw food educator um, and holistic health coach they're both the same thing in, in my opinion anyway um, because I'm able to help people with all terminal illnesses even if I wasn't certified I'm certified by creator spirit and angels this is in my DNA this is in my birth chart you know I, I I do this, you know, I, like people used to say, I does this, you know, I help people heal. I've helped many people heal. People are still living with pancreatic cancer because of me. So yes, that is a boost um, because it's difficult to help people with and it makes me feel honored on this planet to do my purpose because I'm here to um, serve in various ways um and i've always been serious about holistic health it's important it has saved my life um it has saved many people's lives and it will continue to to do that and i will continue to spread the message of holistic health and wellness um, because it's people's rights although people try to make it a privilege it is your right to live holistically healthy and so I will always boost myself up when it comes to that because it's helping somebody. So when it comes to, when it comes to holistic health and what it's all about, I actually lost my train. I actually lost my train of thought. I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna <laughs> act like I remember what I was saying. I need more omega threes and omega sixes for sure. So I don't forget. So I don't forget. Oh, that's what I was saying. So when I was getting my um, certification, the lady there, I was telling her I was a holistic violinist and she, we had to say like what we, cause this was the business part of it. Cause you're not just a holistic health coach. Like you're a business person and you're also a marketer. And so, she was asking like, what's your USP or unique selling proposition, basically. And I was like, you know, I'm a holistic violinist and holistic health coach. And she was like, that doesn't, she was like, well, how, what does it have to do with holistic health coaching? Everything. 
See, some people just separate like music and holistic health coaching and I've always known that they've gone together because I used to play double stops, specifically double stops for my liver to cause, that's how I helped heal my liver is by playing double stops. Mm -hmm. Certain In a certain frequency to help me heal. And so it goes together. You cannot separate anything. And that's the beauty of holistic health is that you can talk about pretty much everything. I'm the type of person I can't stick with one subject. Like if someone's talking about mental health all the time, then I have to be talking about stress. I have to be talking about depression. I have to be talking about the vagus nerve. I have to be talking about fitness. I cannot just be focusing on, like for instance, I can't just be focusing on depression all day. And I'm gonna talk about depression and there's five reasons why you shouldn't be depressed and depressed. That's not me. And that's what I love about doing people's birth charts and my own birth chart is that you can clearly see that that's not me. I cannot just, it's just one thing. My one thing is holistic health, which encompasses a broad array of various things that helps people with that one thing, which is achieving holistic health. But they have various, you see what I mean? They have various highways of achieving holistic health. And so it makes it fun. I just am not, some people are, they can just talk about the same thing all the time. Like some people can talk about nail polish in every single video and that's cool. Or people can talk about, you know, makeup in every single video and that's cool because makeup, you have a variety, you know what I'm saying? And I talk about that too because I do my makeup. Naturally, I'm self-taught. Um, I did have a blunder when I was dealing with the taxia and my face just looked like that episode of Martin when Gina went to, uh, you know, the, the dentist and her face was just all, she just didn't know what she was doing. That is how a taxia feels. And so my eyebrows were like, were square. The lighting was terrible. Like some of my pictures were just, but I was like, you know what? I'm not deleting those. Like embarrassing me is absolutely impossible. I am not deleting those. I That was growth. I think it's art and I think it's absolute beauty because it's like, you beat that. You beat that. You took time to regain your motor skills and do all of that. And you know, again, it ties into mental, emotional, physical, and spiritual in order to heal. Um, and it's, 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 it's a great thing. And so, that is what holistic health is. That is how to live holistically. I pray that this video uh, helped all of you. Please tune in to the Avi Unfiltered podcast tomorrow. It's always a party. It's always so much fun. Bring a smoothie, bring a tea, whatever you want to bring. Bring soup, bring pasta, bring kimchi. I'm getting me some kimchi. I'm like craving cucumbers and kimchi right now. Um, I love my kimchi. Sauerkraut. Oh my God. Sauerkraut. I, I'm hearing like baked potato, but sauerkraut on collard greens is so good. Oh, it's so good. Okay. Today's word of the day is Pax et amor. And that is peace and love in Latin, which is one of my languages. And let's get a card of the day. Why did I hear Oh Faithful? Thank you, Creator, Spirit, and Angels, Oh Faithful. Okay, they're telling me to take this bottom card. Ooh. It's a lot of Libra here, but anyways, justice is coming. Balance is coming. Justice is coming. Again, this is perfect for holistic health. Mm. And like I said, take what resonates because this is for different people. But I'm hearing weeping night and day. I'm also getting like day and night kid cuddy. So if you're going through like some sort of imbalance or depression or anxiety, everything's going to balance out. Some of you are going through a detox and you could feel like that. Like you're, I'm seeing someone crying. Yeah, that's detox. Okay. Just know that you're going to feel 
balanced. I'm laughing because I know that experience very well. You're gonna feel rebalanced. You're gonna feel so much better. You're gonna see the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah, I just heard that song by The Wiz. When they say everybody look around, you know that song? Um, when it's, can't you feel a brand new day? It's a brand new day. Go listen to that. Also 2103 has that song, a brand new day. Ty Tribbett Fresh is also what I'm getting. So it's just newness. Um, anything else, Creator, Spirit, and Angels? Anything else, Creator, Spirit, and Angels? Anything else? I think that's it. Lavender. Essential Oil. I'm hearing that song, look at all the lonely people. Yeah, it's it's the age of Aquarius. It's time to like help people out about humanitarianism. Definitely uplifting people. Yeah, wise counsel. Get to know yourself. Get to know yourself. Get to know yourself, okay? Tap into spirit. Tap into spirituality. Why did I hear ganja? Look for herbs. Look at different herbs, herbal tinctures, CBD, CBD, okay? Oh my God, I'm getting a visual of that video, that movie, not video, movie with Drew Barrymore. Was it Never Been Kissed? It was some movie where she went and the guy put the CBD, the guy put the CBD in the brownie and she got, she, you know, she's high off of it. Anyways. You have an endocannabinoid system. CBD is your friend, honey. CBD is your bestie. It is your bestie. Anyways, I do not smoke it. If you smoke it, I don't judge you. I like to take CBD. You can take CBD in a tea form. You put it in tea. Um, it's the herbs. It's herbs. Don't let this society make you think, oh my God, you shouldn't be taking that. Meanwhile, they want you to take medication with all those side effects, okay? Um, or you could put it in a smoothie or a veggie capsule form. You could swallow it. Um, I did not take any. This is just my natural, my natural state. But you know, CBD is the bestie, and I will always promote that outright. So, okay, guys, <laughs> have a wonderful day, loverly, peacefuls. Much love to all of you who receive love. Feel free to ask me any questions. Feel free to email me, and I will see you in the next video. Mwah.